Hello and welcome to our last lesson of module three, exponential decay. Uh, last lesson, we learned exponential growth. Today, we're going to write equations to represent exponential decay situations. So exponential decay, what is it? It is decreasing in amount by a consistent percentage over time. Just like exponential growth was increasing in amount by a consistent percentage, decay is decreasing. Common places you'll see exponential decay, decline in population, depreciation, which means loss in value, and half-life. And this is what it'll look like. It'll be a curve downward this time. An exponential function, just a reminder, is y equals a b to the x. a is the starting value. a cannot be zero, and a has to be positive. b is the growth factor, or in this case, the decay factor, which is a percent written as a decimal. With growth, what we did yesterday, it was the b value was bigger than one. With decay, it's between zero and one. It cannot go be below zero. It can't be negative, but it's between zero and one. So you're gonna have a decimal that's between zero and one. The way you get it is you start with 100% and you take away the rate, subtract it this time instead of add it. X is still time. So this is an example of what an equation would look like. You see how 0 0.75 is between zero and one? That shows me that this is a decay function and it'll look like this, okay? So here's an example. You purchase a new car for $27,000. It depreciates in value by 18% per year. It loses value and it loses 18% of its value per year. What is the value of your car in two years? And how about 10 years? So let's do our equation. We need A, B, and X. A is pretty easy to spot again, 27,000. The B value, it's, the, it's losing value. You go start with 100%. And you take away 18% per year. This number that you're going to get does not show up in the problem. With growth, you could see it in the problem. With decay, you a lot of times can't. That's 82%, which is 0 0.82. The time in the first one is two years. So our equation is y equals 27,000 times 0 0.82 squared. If you do that in the calculator, you'll get $18,154.80. All right. What happens about 10 years? The exponent changes from 2 to 10, and you get a very much smaller number, $3,711.10 is what you would what your car would be worth 10 years after you buy it. Okay. This is what your graph would look like. You see how it's dropping in value very quickly. It never goes below the x-axis. It just runs parallel to it, it seems like, but it's actually getting closer and closer to the x-axis as time goes on. Half-life deals with um, elements and um, more science stuff, but osmium-182 is considered to be quite stable as it has a half-life of one day. If you start with an 80-gram sample, how many grams of osmium-182 will you have after eight days? Seems like a little confusing because we don't see this very often, but you start with what? You start with 80, an 80-gram sample. Half-life, what does that mean? It means... you. Start with all of it, all 80 grams, and in one day, you lose half of it. So you subtract half of it. We represent half with 50%. Well, 100 minus 50 is 50, which is 0 0.50. How much will you have after eight days? That's my X value, eight days. So Y equals 80 times 0 0.5 to the eighth. Type that in your calculator, and you get 0 0.3125. You wouldn't have much left after eight days. Okay, and that is what it would look like on a graph. And that concludes lesson three of our week.